Another day, another delay. Yes, we are slowly marching to the reality that movie theaters are probably not going to reopen or people are not going to most likely come back to the theaters until fall at the earliest. And that's because Sony has cut super deep into the new movie release schedule and it's it really is such an eyebrow razor why they would do this. And it seems that the summer movie blockbuster, um, the summer movie blockbuster, like, whole season has been cut short before it even was able to start, which is a huge casualty on the economic standpoint. But luckily, Sony um, seems to believe or hope that theaters will open back up by September because movies like, because some of their movies like Monster Hunter, Connected, and Venom 2 are still on the table for their fall release dates. But what is really interesting <laughs> is that, well, Sony has pushed back um, a lot of their summer blockbuster movies substantially by a whole year, yet they refuse to put them on streaming. So the biggest movies that have gotten delayed by Sony are Tom Hanks's um, Greyhound, Ghostbusters Afterlife, and um, Morbius the Living Vampire, which has been moved to March 19th, 2021. Also, Peter Rabbit 2 has yet again been moved to January 15th, 2021, opposite Mortal Kombat that just finished filming, so will probably make its release date. So I think the biggest news or the biggest question that has come out of this news is why not put these movies on streaming? Because Sony does not mind giving movies digital releases. They did the same thing for Bloodshot. And there's actually two great reasons for why they're not putting these movies on streaming. And the first one is because, well, none of these movies' campaign or trailer campaigns have really started. They all have a, just one trailer. So they so Sony can easily just press pause on them and just unpause them when it's time for them to be released. And the second reason is because Sony Pictures is already, unlike other movie businesses and companies, financially secure because its parent company, Sony, makes electronics that are sold worldwide, um, has the biggest console or the biggest like gaming platform in the world, and the um, largest music platform in the world. So how do you feel about this news? Are you still... Um, going to go see these movies when they come out in 2021 share your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe to grace and talks everything